Hi, this is Don Mobile Home Erling with SellThisMobileHome.com coming to you from Wichita, Kansas. I'm going through a community here. Um, this community is quite a bit more, uh, quite a bit fuller, uh, more full than uh, some of the other communities I've been in. So obviously, well managed um, mobile home community uh, for the area. The thing that's interesting is a lot of the communities that I've gone into in this area. Um, have pretty much all advertised on the outside, outskirts of them that uh, they are offering homes for rent. Um, the thing that's interesting about that is the information that I have in regard to traditional or site-built real estate as well. Um, since I've been here, I've been looking at site-built homes as well, uh, multi-units as well as also single-family homes. Um, a lot of the homes that are more of your entry-level homes, uh, depending on the area that they're in, um, are starting some of the ones that need a little bit of work. We're starting at about um, fifteen, twenty thousand um, dollars, up to about eighty, uh, eighty-five thousand dollars. And so, um, I was out with two different real estate agents uh, the other yesterday, and we were going into a couple different areas, uh, some rental, more rental-specific areas. Um, and he, the the one gentleman was was stating that the average rent in those areas you could probably get three fifty to maybe about five hundred dollars a month. Um, they were also talking about the a the, uh, little bit nicer areas, not as low lower end rent type areas uh, that you're able to probably get six fifty to maybe about eight fifty nine hundred dollars a month. Okay. Um, the retail buyer type homes, you know, white collar. Uh, blue collar homes, entry level homes that we were looking at, um, on average, probably top resale amount would be about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Obviously, depending on the area, some areas were capped off at fifty, sixty thousand dollars. So, what is my point? Well, in an area where you have affordable housing like that. Um, you're going to be hard pressed to get somebody or have somebody be convinced or look to buy a mobile home for about the same price because a mobile home like this one here, um, brand new, you're looking at maybe if it's bare bones basic and it's not real long, you're looking at you know forty thousand dollars all the way up to one hundred twenty thousand dollars for a mobile home that's going to sit on somebody else's land that doesn't include the land. Uh, for a single wide, you could start out about thirty thousand dollars brand new and go up from there as well. Um, used in a lot of areas, you know, uh, 90s trailers, 90s mobile homes that are single wides, uh, you might end up with a situation where you're, depending on the area, where you're looking at maybe ten to maybe $18,000, $20,000. Some of them you might be able to get as high as twenty-five, twenty-eight thousand dollars $28,000, depending on how long it is and what kind of features it has. But for the most part, that's not too far off from what the the sales amounts are for site-built homes with, you know, a half acre, three quarters of an acre of land with them, where people don't have to worry about um, paying lot rent and dealing with a park manager. So, um, what I would say is, in an area like this, where the prices, I think, I think both of them were saying that the appreciation in this area hasn't been real, real strong, um, even during the the boom period. And so, therefore, they didn't have a huge drop in price either. Um, I think they were saying that you know the average appreciation right now is anywhere between one to maybe lucky if you're up to about three percent. So the house prices aren't going to be skyrocketing anytime soon, and so that's not going to change anytime soon. Um, the one thing that I did note in some of the homes that we were looking at, and some of the areas that we're looking at, is if you're looking for affordable rents, rental properties. Um, you're going to be going into a bit less desirable areas. And so, for this area, I would say probably one of the strengths that this community or that mobile homes in this community have is that if you'd be able to rent them out, it's a nice, clean, as you can see, nice, clean community. It has a park manager or manager on site who's monitoring and keeping everybody in line, making sure that the home sites are maintained as well. Um, if you can rent, right along with the park and these these communities out to uh, tenants that might be a, a very favorable option and probably one of the, the more profitable options within an area like this when the price of homes ends up being um, a bit 
a bit more reasonable. Um, but if the people can't qualify for financing, obviously they're not going to have that option. So um, anyway, it's just a, a, an analysis, just food for thought. Every area is a little bit different. I always find it interesting to compare site-built real estate to traditional or in traditional real estate to the mobile home uh, industry and take a look at and try to figure out what, what the opportunities are within a given within a given community. So um, just some insight and perspective from Wichita, Kansas. Um, hopefully this might help you with coming up with some ideas, uh, the questions to ask, information to gather, ways to evaluate even your local communities so that you can be successful in mobile home investing.